item is number 200. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lamb's high banquet we await In snow-white robes of royal state And now the Red Sea's channel pass To Christ our Prince we sing at last Upon the altar of the cross That hath redeemed our loss, and tasting of his life red blood, our life is hid with him in God. That Paschal Eve God's arm was bared, the devastating angels spared. By strength of hand, our hosts went free from Pharaoh's ruthless tyranny. <clears throat> now Christ, our Paschal Lamb, is slain, the Lamb of God that knows no stain. The true oblation offered he. Our own unleavened bread sincere. O thou from whom all's monarch flies, O great, O very sacrifice, thy captive people are set free, and endless life restored in thee. For Christ, arising from the dead, from conquered hell victorious sped, he thrusts the tyrant down to chains, and paradise for man regains. Maker of all to thee we pray, fulfill thy joy today, when death assails, grand Lord, that we may share the paschal victory. <laughs> to thee who dead again does live, all glory, Lord, thy people give. O glory, as is ever meet, to Father and to Paraclete. Amen. On the third day, there was a wedding at Cana in Galilee. Alleluia. <coughs> oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoes of the olive around your table. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. May you see your children's children in a happy Jerusalem on Israel, peace. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. On the third day, there was a wedding at Cana in Galilee. Alleluia. <coughs> Christ will be honored in my body. Alleluia. <coughs> they have pressed me hard from my youth. This is Israel's song. They have pressed me hard from my youth but could never destroy me. They plowed my back like plowmen, wronging long furrows. But the Lord who is just has destroyed the yoke of the wicked. Let them be shamed and routed, those who hate Zion. Let them be like grass on the roof that withers before it flowers. With that, no reaper fills his arms, no binder makes his sheaves, and those passing by will not say, On you the Lord's blessing. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Christ will be honored in my body. Alleluia. <coughs> Blessed are you, poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Alleluia. Hear this, all you peoples. Give heed, all who dwell in the world. Men both low and high, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom. My heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable. With a harp I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me? Men who trust to their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches. For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from each to each, though their names spread wide through the land. In his riches man lacks wisdom, he is like the bees that are destroyed. <coughs> this is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their ruler. With the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death, and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, man will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his fathers, 
who will never see the light anymore. In his riches man lacks wisdom, he is like the bees that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Alleluia. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Alleluia, Alleluia. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you, you were slain, with your blood you purchased for God, men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain, to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Alleluia, Alleluia. From the first letter of Peter. Come to the Lord, a living stone, rejected by men, but approved nonetheless and precious in God's eyes. You too are living stones, built as an edifice of spirit into a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifice, sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. This day all generations will call me blessed. 
The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast out the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Ego veritatem dico vobis expedit vobis ut ego vadan nisi ego abiero Paraclitus non veniet, Alleluia. By his resurrection, Christ has given sure hope to his people. Let us ask him with our whole heart. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, from your wounded side, blood, blood, and water, make the church your spotless bride. Chief Shepherd, after your resurrection, you made Peter shepherd of your flock when he professed his love for you. <coughs> Increase from day to day the love and devotion of Francis, our Pope. You showed your disciples how to make a great catch of fish. Send others to continue their work as fishers of men. At the lakeside, you prepared bread and fish for your disciples. Grant that we may never allow others to die of hunger. for the ongoing CPG for their decisions. Pray for Carlos for his healing. Continue prayers for Vicente and for Scott and Mauricio. Jesus, the new Adam and life-giving spirit, <clears throat> transform the dead into your own likeness that the fullness of joy may be theirs. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. 
Grant, Almighty and merciful God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us and also with our brothers and sisters. <coughs> Martyrology of May the 29th. In 1914, the heavenly birth of Saint Joseph, of Blessed Joseph Gerard, priest. Born in 1831 near Nancy, France, Father Gerard entered the missionary oblates of Mary Immaculate. Sent to South Africa, he was assigned to the mission of Lesotho. At the moment of his beatification in 1988, John Paul II noted that a constant zeal for evangelization shaped every state his whole life long. Around 347, St. Maximinus, a native of Aquitania, he went to Trier's Germany, which was then the imperial residence, where he was elected bishop. He showed himself a valiant defender of orthodoxy by welcoming the exiled St. Athanasius. Memorial of Blessed Ursula Ladokovich. Founders of a new congregation of Ursuline Sisters in Poland after the First World War. Their apostolic vocation is directed toward the young and to assisting the church in her pastoral work. Having died in 1939, she was beatified by Pope John Paul II in 1983. The same day, the heavenly birth of a cloud of witnesses of every race, people, tongue, and nation who have entered into eternal glory. 